Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I made this Flappy Bird animation project from beginning to the end. And also by the end of this video, I'm going to refer all the tutorial links for the techniques I'm going to use in this animation project. So make sure to watch till the end. I got the idea of this project from the original Flappy Bird mobile game. At the very beginning of any project, I do some research on the topic and then try to think of the overall scenes and the elements. So I try to do some rough sketch on the topic to put all the ideas on a visual format. The next step is the illustration. So I first design the bird and then to keep things simple, I use the basic steps with black strokes and white fill to create the structure of the bird. Once I'm satisfied with the basic design of the bird, I started adding colors. So now I tried out different color palettes taking references from Pinterest and Adobe Color. Once the color theme is finalized, I started adding more detailing on the bird illustration. Then I started illustrating the background taking references from the initial rough sketch. So first I created the maze design of the cave with rectangle shapes and then made a few variation of rock design with basic shapes. Then I duplicated the rocks multiple times and put it on the maze design in that particular shape. After that adding some shades on the rock. For the background wall I have also added some bricks with rounded rectangle shapes. I also added some detailing on these bricks as well. Then I added some more elements such as the spike ball pendulum, some spikes and some fire flames. All by using the simple geometric shapes. For the forest background, I have reused the elements from one of my previous projects. And here I am with the final illustration that I would need for this animation project. So then I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. The animation starts with a bird in a forest lost its path. Then it enters in a cave where the bird faces multiple obstacles like a spike entrance, then a spike pendulum ball, and then fire flame, and then spike exit. So the bird dodges all these obstacles and flies out of the cave and then this whole thing goes on a loop. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this animation project. In After Effects, I started with the bird animation. So here I first animated the wings. So first I pre-comped the wings layer and then converted the wings pre comp into a 3D layer. And then rotated it in 3D and added loop expression. And then to add more detailing to it, I further distorted the bird wings with the pin tool for the layers that are inside the pre -comp, So that the pins doesn't get interfered with the 3D layer or the 3D rotation animation. So here I added few pins on the wing layer and then converted the pins into bone layer with the help of the twig based plugin. And then added some rotation keyframes. And here is how it looks. So after that I added some Y axis position animation in a loop and then to add more detailing to it I added a little squash and stretch on the bird body. To implement squash and stretch principle properly in your animation you need to squash the element the same amount as much as it stretches. So after the bird animation is completed I started animating the fire. For the fire animation I added some rounded rectangle shapes and then added pins on the shapes and then converted one pin into bone and then I added wiggle expression on the position property of the bone layer. So after that I added some glow effect and then to add more particles I used the stroke layer and then added trim path. So I adjusted the start and end value and then animated the offset in a loop. And here is how it looks. So then I moved on with the spike ball pendulum oscillation. So here for the string movement, I distorted the string with the help of pin tool again. I added pins on the string layer and then converted the pins into bone layer using the twig based plugin. After that, parented these bone layers in a chain and then added rotation keyframe in a loop and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. And this is how it looks. Then I moved on with the camera movement. For the camera movement, I first animated the entire long background in X axis. Then I animated the bird only on the Y axis according to the obstacle as the X axis movement of the bird will be covered by the background's X axis movement. I also added some parallax effect in the environment animation to add some dimension to the environment. So for the parallax effect, the elements that are closer to the camera should move faster compared to the elements that are far away from the camera. 
Likewise, I adjusted the speed of the background elements and here is how it finally turns out. Okay, so these are the steps I follow throughout the project and this clip is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to animate a bird in After Effects, you can check out my full detailed tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also if you want to learn how to animate fire in After Effects, then again you can check out a detailed tutorial that I have already made. You can get the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to animate 3D parallax effect in After Effects, then again click on the i button on the top right corner to get check out the tutorial or you will be getting the tutorial link in the description as well. So these are all the tutorial links that you can refer to if you want to learn the techniques I have used in this animation project. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.